Hi loves, I'm Giovanna Sofia, the founder of Her Mystery School, and I wanted to introduce you to Jamila Suzanne, a dear friend of mine and a woman who is also a mentor with Her Mystery School, meaning that if you enroll in the nine months of Her Mystery School, you can choose to do a mentorship where you're getting one-on-one -on -one support around a specific topic for the entire nine months. Jamila's mentorships are two. They are Oracular Dreaming and Medicine Woman. So I would love to share with you and have her share with you some about that to see if it may be something that would serve you and that calls to you. Um, hi Jamila. Hi. So your mentorships are mm -hmm. Oracular Dreaming yes. and Medicine Woman. Right. Can you tell us a little bit about those? I'd be happy to. So we'll start with Oracular Dreaming and what that really is asking is for those of you who have anywhere on the spectrum from a dream drought in sleeping times to a dream tsunami where you're just restless and just not even able to get your sleep because so much information is coming through in the nighttime, it really gives way and place and time and presence and tools to work with that. So not only do we work with your sleeping dreams through oracular dreaming, and the oracular piece is the fact that the unconscious, subconscious, and collective consciousness natures are all speaking to us through our dream realms. We take it one step further and really look at waking realities as far as synchronicities, coincidences, and symbolism, and really relate that to a living mythology within your own life. And so it, it's a really beautiful weave with the curriculum of Her Mystery School, and we pair it um, with each month and go deeper with a new tool around uh, waking and sleeping, dreaming, and what, how to use the information or how to intend and ask for specific um, insights, uh, awarenesses, and lessons along the way. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What Jamila has taught me about dreaming has really changed the way that I relate to my dream world in a way that's actually empowered. I have a lot of dreams and felt felt a little out of control of them and a little very unsure of what they were trying to, how they were trying to support me. And so for me, what oracular dreaming has done is brought me into an actual right relationship with mm -hmm. my dreams mm -hmm. and a sense of mm -hmm. that they're here to serve me. Yeah. So that's the oracular dreaming mentorship. Mm -hmm. And then there's the medicine woman mentorship. Right. And so medicine woman mentorship really came to me as a strong call. And it was a bit overwhelming when it first came through because it was like, who am I to represent and hold this space for such a strong archetype of medicine woman? And oftentimes what we're doing is we're looking externally at ourselves for the medicine and the healing and reaching outward. And what this does in the spirit of her mystery school is it brings it home. And what the big questions here are is to identify acknowledge how the archetype of medicine woman is uh, living through you already mm -hmm. and by doing this there's a lot of acknowledgement that happens and then a continued cultivation of uh, what's possible not only for yourself but also in service to your relationships family and community around you mm -hmm. I love that Especially especially with her mystery school, if you know about the curriculum, it's very much a self-revelation of what is womanhood, what is your authentic nature rising up through you, embodied as you, and this piece around recognizing that we each carry medicine, mm -hmm. that yes, it's a glorious archetype and it's ancient and it's powerful, but it is, mm -hmm. we are each actually carrying medicine. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's a lot of the recovery that many of us are in is just realizing what's actually going on right what we're actually carrying yeah. and then knowing how to carry it in a good way yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and a lot of times it's just a natural process and mm -hmm. it's like oh well yeah of course I'm doing that and mm -hmm. so it's like ah mm -hmm. wow mm -hmm. powerful a real claiming a real like true strong claiming yeah. yes mm -hmm. um, what would you say in terms of the mentorships like who 
who feels most served, would you say, as you've mm -hmm. been working with women? Like, who seems to be drawn to them, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. most served by them? Mm -hmm. I would say for the oracular dreaming mentorship, originally people who had a lot of dreams were called to it originally. And so it helped them sort through and um, com uh, structure what was going on. And also um, just really support what uh, is possible to expand from where they already are. And this is even like plaguing dreams from um, childhood, mm -hmm. nightmares, traumas, things that like the boogeyman is really out to get you can really be like... Um, there's there are exercises and practices that we go through to support clearing that and making more space in the dream time the waking synchronicities piece comes up a lot too so there's always an action state that relates to how does this dream apply to what's being asked of me right now and i would say that the folks that even are curious and um, you can call all of us mentors and do a 20 minute kind of um, information mm -hmm. uh, session just to feel it out and be like, why might I want to do this? And, you know, email Miss Her Mystery School and make a time with us. And what we do is offer just a one-on-one -on -one with each one of you so that you can get a feel for how would this best serve me? Mm -hmm. And we look at that. And so folks that have come into the oracular dreaming, folks, beautiful women, <laughs> all of you, and have really just been amazed by the reveals that show mm -hmm. up. Even in the, the expanse of emptiness that shows up, because it is more about providing a space for even just a sensation or a feeling to arise, a texture or a color. So it doesn't have to be even a huge storyline that you're working yeah. out and working through and I think that's what people have most been surprised by is the subtlety that um, opens up through the oracular dreaming mm -hmm. mentorship that maybe they weren't expecting to be a part of it well and it seems like it is opening the internal guidance system yeah right the yeah we work a lot with the oracular presence mm -hmm. in her mystery school mm -hmm. and to start to work with that in the dream time and as a waking guidance system mm -hmm. does become very subtle actually and surprising I love that you mentioned surprising because as I've worked with my dreams mm -hmm. and the ways that you've taught me mm -hmm. it, it is surprising what what my dreams are actually trying to tell me what is actually going on in my psyche mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. always it's, it's a revelation every time and it's very integrating mm -hmm. I feel like the oracular dreaming mm -hmm. piece is very integrating right mm -hmm. right yeah yeah, we do a couple techniques. We do uh, a re-entry where if something isn't complete, we go back in and hold space for it. Also a lot of um, animal totem work and really looking at who are our guides and how do they show up? How do we name them and how do we call them in? Incubation in that sense of intention and holding a large uh, piece on ancestral lineage and really working between the veils of mm -hmm. this living material world and what's already gone beyond it or what may be about to go beyond it and our own sense of life and death and that cycle. Mm -hmm. So we go for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I know. <laughs> <laughs> and how about medicine woman? What would you say that that is a mentorship that speaks to mm -hmm. what would be arising in a woman that would call her to that, you think? Yeah, I think what, and just to speak historically for the women that I have worked with in that piece, is that there's, there is this dropping down and back that Jumana is super famous for in this school, <laughs> which we're so thankful for that, that happens, that is an experiential process. And so by really holding an accountability piece to what that looks like for you, and then what is the altar space? What is the intent? How do we nourish ourselves on a daily basis? And what is the, the rhythm and the balance and the harmony that is called into play around that? So each month is a deeper and deeper and deeper, deeper spiral into the, the revealing of what is medicine for you? And how is that showing up? So it's it's really 
everyday life applicable again Mm -hmm. and an accountability process to be really deep in the resourcing Mm -hmm. of either what you are already cultivating or what you have thought about or surrounded by or even challenged Mm -hmm. by and coming up with some feedback, reflections, uh, mechanisms, and there are people all over the place. There are um, psychologists and teachers and mothers and doctors and athletes, and there's a way to relate uh, medicine into the movement of who you are and what you're cultivating and the application of this deeper healing, harmony, and balance with mm-hmm. all of the elements that surround. And so each woman that I've worked with up to this point, it, it just keeps getting more um, empowered is what I'm going to say along the way. It's mm-hmm. just, and it's not a forward movement. It's this mm-hmm. uh, almost a relief uh-huh. in the claiming. Yeah. It's nothing you have yeah. to do to get there. It's actually, oh, wow, I'm so there. much further there than I even thought I was, yeah. but I just wasn't giving myself the credit. Yeah. I feel like the claiming of personal medicine, especially for women, is not, it's not only necessary for thriving, but for me, it's been necessary for safety. So there's a way that when I started to acknowledge what medicine is moving through me and what I'm being asked to carry and embody and, and express, you know, it calls me forward, but it also has taught me how to care for myself. I feel like that's one of the journeys of the medicine, mm-hmm. of embodying the medicine woman, mm-hmm. is to say, well, okay, this is what I'm carrying. I can remember and claim that, and now I know how to take care of myself, right. and I will. Yeah, because there's a, a reverence that can come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, the last, the title to the last piece that we do in that round is called "Know Your Maven," and that mm-hmm. really is that. Ooh, know thyself piece Mm -hmm. and then naming it and really coming up with a whole Mm -hmm. process around which you then move forward into and through the world even more deeply set in that so good so good so the mentorships as i said they move along with her mystery school so we go through the nine months of the core curriculum and then with the which is as a group and as a collective and then the mentorships are where where you can come in and actually have one-on-one support on the per month and receive an extra teaching per month that would guide you towards claiming your medicine and working with your dreams whatever it is that you want to are are drawn to work more specifically with um, as you move through the school and that's about all of our time but i wonder jamila if you have any takeaways in terms of just uh Mm -hmm. Yeah, a, a gift or a, a focus point mm-hmm. or a wisdom piece from mm-hmm. your mentorships. I do. Yeah. I do. And so here's a couple of fun ones. And what I'd like to say really from an oracular dreaming standpoint is here's the question. What time is it? The time is now. <laughs> and it's always now. So we hear that in so many ways, but let's just stay with that. What time is it? The time is now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. To really experience it. Yeah. And so as far as Medicine Woman goes, I'm going to go back to the acknowledgement piece. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to say is you are Medicine Woman. Mm -hmm. She is within and working through you every single day. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. So Jamila Suzanne, and you can find her through her mystery school, and you can set up a discovery call with her if you're drawn to either one of those mentorships or just to work with her in any way. Uh, You can always find us support at hermysteryschool.com or just hermysteryschool.com under mentorships are all the information. All right. All right. Thanks, Jamila. Mm -hmm.